And away we go, an LDU in their uh, all-white kit here this afternoon. Perfect playing conditions. Tocchino to float that one in. The loose ball trickles wide of the target. Marinho in on goal, favours that left foot, switches it to that one, scapes one, goes down in a heap, and our referee says play on the loose ball. And the end, whack clear. Guilherme, let's see what uh, La Liga can conjure up. It's hoisted forward. Whack clear, and then the diving header over the crossbar in the end. And the ball at the top, really able to give chase. Chinga needs to be at his best here. He's creating that space for himself, drills it, but well off target in the end. But we'll see if he does. Well, for me, there's zero contact whatsoever, and if the referee deems that it's being zero contact, he really should go to the book there for Mourinho. Opportunity here. And João Ricardo to spread himself against Julio. His first chance of the second period, tries to take it across. The D can't do so. There's a bit more energy, but again. Slight bit of contact, perhaps, but one where he just tried to win the penalty there. Clear as day that he's trying to con the referee. This is probably the, the clearest chance of the game. Ooh, he has to go down as the first shooting opportunity in this match. Ball whipped in across the area. Fortaleza are in front. It was whipped in with some venom. And the front. task with leading the attack for Fortaleza, who perhaps doesn't score as many goals as maybe he should, having not scored at all in the knockout phase of this year's competition since the group phase when they beat Palestino. But that is a top-notch finish from Lucero. He gets the run on Ade at that near post. Great movement. And the first time finish to beat Dominguez in at that. And Sugaray inside the air, the substitute creates that little bit of space for himself and then wellies it into the back of the net. The substitute, joy for La Liga. He just comes the quality away from two, opening up that space onto his left. And with the goalkeeper perhaps slightly unsighted with the bodies in front of him, he just bends it around everyone into the far corner. Sugarai, former Newell's player. Voivoda, former Newell's player. Well, they did it at the back. And this is driven in low. The keeper turns it away. Marinho, it causes some problems. And that's a good stop in the end by Dominguez. It's Pacheco. Good on the end. It makes the save all the better because it's somewhat surprising. Little touch round the corner. Failed to make contact. Four minutes to go. Is this one? It's turned. A long, long way out of goal. And Juan Ricardo having to come across very quickly against Martinez. Would have been the, the third Argentine to score. The referee decides that at the end of the 90 plus stoppage, we are going into extra time. 30 minutes of uh, extra time then here. A nice little run. On the far side, they're looking for end product. There's an opportunity to turn and shoot, and it won't drop for Julio. Ball played out wide. Drilled in! Maybe that was a chance there for Fortaleza. Once again, a lot. Those 40 laser players inside the ears into the body of the keeper from Chinga. Free header in the end. Now Julio hemmed in on this near side. Tries to trick his way through. This could be promising here. Late flourish from La Liga. Tried to keep it alive. Will settle for the throw in. That was the ripple of the pause around the stadium. Nothing to divide these two teams after 90 minutes and extra time. And as you said, Peter, the inevitable penalties, which I think surely is going to be stepping back a few more yards than he is. Alagadera, the man from Peru, the man who's been there, done that. 
steps forward, it's stamped. Or not the best penalty you'll ever see. And João Ricardo guesses right, but you've got to say Guerrero made it easy for him. Kept on. Is he trying to out psych Dominguez? This could be big here. Little stutter step and sends it into the back of the net. On the left footer. Picks his spots. And keeps his call in front of goal. Can pick a shoot, do it for Fortaleza. Sends the keeper the wrong way, makes it look easy. Two out of two for the Brazilians. Oh, Ricardo. And he, this one, hammers that one into the back of the net. Well, it's a third substitute, Romero. And this time it stopped. Well, he guesses right, the keeper. And the veteran, uh, Santos, with a good chance. He uh, just squeezes that one in low, but only just. Needs to do a captain's job here and puts it into the roof. Well, he kept his, because that add tension to the keeper or the taker. We're going to find out right now. It's saved! Guesses right! To deny the substitute. Again, you've got to say it was not the best penalty you'll ever see. Perhaps not him. Pedro Augusto. Trying to play the mind games. Yet another sub. Can he put this one away? He can't, it's saved. Well, a chance to take the crown. Disappears, the keeper's coming up trumps. Have they run out of penalty takers already? Is this the moment? POV sends the keeper the wrong way. Oh. oh, this is a big, big conversion here. Needs to go in, and it's stopped! And they will celebrate La Liga! The keeper guessing right, Brites, the Argentine is thwarted! And La Liga will take the crown for the second time in their history. Piovi, the Argentine, one of the Argentines has it in his hands and they raise the trophy. La Liga of Quito. The Comedy Ball, Sud Americana champions of 2023.